kill the murderer on the first pay. I always love to read books. And One of them ends up dead. What happened? Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Monsoon and I create cozy creative vlogs on this channel. This is a cozy little place on the youtube.com where we read a lot, talk about books, about the things that I love, we appreciate mundanity over here, see beauty in little little things and try to live our life to the fullest. If you are interested in that kind of content, please consider subscribing, I guess. And today's video is a really, really special because we are going to explore just the surface level of a particular subgenre that is really, really popular nowadays um, on Instagram, on YouTube, everywhere, on Pinterest, okay? And that is a dark academia. Let's first do a really quick introduction of what is dark academia when it started, originated, when it's reached its peak and all of that. Dark academia is both an aesthetic and subculture that is primarily focused on higher education, the arts, calligraphy, museums, writing, reading, and shadowy classic Greek and Gothic architecture. The subculture focuses primarily on studying classic literature, ancient art, and highbrow liberal arts topics. Dark academia has been around Tumblr and the social media space since around 2015, but seems to have gained massive popularity during the COVID-19 pandemic when social restrictions were at their height. This graph right here shows the abrupt increase in popularity of dark academia during pandemic years. So now that we know everything that we had to know about dark academia, even though it's just surface level, it's enough. If you just want to know what dark academia is, you just have to know few little things and we are good to go. And now we are going to introduce the book that started all of it, that started this particular dark academia movement. That is the OG, <laughs> The Secret History by Donna Tart. Yes, this is the book that we are going to read for this particular Dark Academia vlog because this is the book that started all of it. It romanticizes studying and romanticizes the dark aspect of studying as well. Unhealthy obsession with grades, unhealthy obsession with studying uh, for long hours, unhealthy hours, not taking breaks. It summarizes all of that and makes it look romantic and aesthetic. That is a completely different debate uh, and it's quite controversial in there that if dark academia is healthy or not, that is a completely different topic that we are not covering in this particular video. What we are covering is we are going to read this book and discuss this book and I will just let you know what I think about this book because this is a super duper hyped up book. It was published in 1992. It's like a modern classic. People still read this book to this date. Okay, this is super hyped up. Check Instagram, check Booktube. It is just bombarded with this book. And I just want to check the hype that why is it so hyped up? What is so special? What is so different about this book that it is still not out of print? I mean, obviously classics are not out of print. People are still reading classics. But what caught people's attention in this particular book that it is like it has a cult-like following on internet. To know the rough premise of this book, this is basically six students who are majoring in Greek literature and there's a teacher, a very charismatic teacher who only teaches five students per year. You have to do a lot of sacrifices to be in that class because that is the only subject that you can study, the only teacher that you interact with except for French, I guess and you have to sign a lot of non-disclosure agreements the teaching style is very very different the teacher is very charismatic you just get attracted towards the teacher not in a weird way i mean like towards the charisma towards the charm of the teacher and it's all very 
cult feeling okay but our protagonist gets really really obsessed with these five students that why only these five students he also learned greek for two years so he has capability to enter into that particular tight knit group particular protagonist richard is highly obsessed and wants to get in and things happened and he is finally in and he started to discover things and he is creeped out with the things that these five students do relationships friendships are very very complex very very difficult to understand they hate and love each other at the same time he cannot really record what is happening and by the very middle or just before the middle of the book one of them ends up dead what happened from the very first page we know who dies and who murdered that person and we just have to see the consequential events that led to the murder of that person i guess we are going to see how academia has an impact on people who cross their boundaries how obsession leads them to the sins that they committed i guess that's what that book is about so i hope to enjoy this book and i will take you along with me in this journey of reading this overly hyped sensational book and yeah, let's see if this hype is real, if I like this book or not. starting to read The Secret History by Donna Tart. I'm not crying, I just washed my face. So yeah, let's start. was deciding to reveal the murderer on the first page. How do you create suspense from knowing what we already know? And Hitchcock said, he said, suspense doesn't come from having a bomb thrown from nowhere. Suspense comes from having, you know, two people sitting, talking at a table. There's a bomb ticking underneath the table. The audience sees it, but the characters don't. And that's, and that's what suspense, suspense is. is. So like when we ch earlier saw that tiny clip from the interview of Dona Tart where she was talking about well, what's different about our book is that we from the very first page know that who is the victim and who is the murderer. And that is absolutely true. I just got done with reading the prologue of the book. And it is literally the first line says who is the victim and the just lines following it tells you who is the murderer so like it's different kind of thriller where you already know who is the victim and who is the murderer is you just you have to go through consequential events and what exactly led to the murder why is there a murder why it like quite interesting concept like yeah academia recommendation time first books um we have frankenstein the starless sea bunny babel if we were villains and the secret history next jumping on to the movies we have harry potter series wednesday series dead poet society tolkien the imitation game goodwill hunting kill your darlings and the riot club 
Coming on to the color scheme, we mostly have browns, blacks, beiges and greens. And then clothes, I don't need to tell you, you can clearly see the type of clothes Dark Academia has. I love the color scheme and clothing, oh my god. And then activities that you could do is books, classical music, writing, coffee, letter writing, art, classics, poetry, card games, music, chess, theater and all of that. continue. I just don't want to know what happens ahead. <sighs> yes, we read it. We did. We finally went through this book. Yes, yes, this book. The Secret History by Donna freaking Todd. What did you do, girl? Like, what did you do? This book is written in 1992, but it is, oh my god, it is so contemporary. It is kind of a contemporary modern classic, but it feels so, so, so freaking new. I mean, what do I even say for this book? I actually changed my outfit. You always have seen me in two to three particular tops that I wear at my home and I never take this effort to change my outfit for any video. I don't care enough for that, but I did change my outfit for this book because I want to really give it my all when I talk about how I felt about this book. So I gave it four stars. I will tell you why not five stars a little bit later. Let's talk about what I absolutely loved about this book. As we talked earlier, I have already told you that this is the book where we, uh, from the very first page and almost the very first paragraph, we know that whoever is the victim and whoever is the murderer, that was absolutely stunning to me because we just had to read the whole book to know the consequential events that led to the particular murder and that led to that particular person's murder why that particular person the last 50 pages took my breath away because from the very first paragraph we knew who is about to die and who is about to kill them but we didn't know that particular detail that happened in the last 50 pages and it is so 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 weird i mean so so weirdly good so I already told you, but let me tell you a little bit about it. This is basically six students, six Greek literature students majoring in Greek literature in Hamden College, I think. And they're under the supervision of a very eccentric and charming Greek literature professor. And like he's the one who guides them through everything. He's very charismatic. He teaches in a very playful and a different manner. It's not always about reading and writing and all of that he lets them experience all of that he didn't have a lot of presence in the book but he is the one who influences a lot of decision making of these students a lot of events that happened could be put on it i mean he only takes five students per year okay but our protagonist who is called richard he is the one who somehow got into the circle because he was absolutely obsessed with these five students which he could only see through a golden lens because these five people do not interact with anybody else but these they are their own intimate circle and 
everybody is kind of curious about them because like why these five were chosen out of a lot of people slowly and steadily he gets to know all these weird characters that he has befriended now and uh, he has his own suspicions of these people are a little bit weird and what is happening things start to happen and one of them ends up dead feel a lot of emotions you know donut art was absolutely breathtakingly amazing in uh, writing and well summarizing the complexity of relationships complexity of friendships it's got really really weird this word okay weird <laughs> weird is an understatement but i got to use it cuz i don't have a better word for it so i'm not very well read in greek literature or greek mythology so don't have a lot of idea about it but don't i did kind of a good work in like you know making you understand even if you don't do you don't really know about greek literature a lot over romanticizes stressing over studies is over romanticizes uh this uh, fetish towards something like this particular character henry is obsessed with greek literature and he is set to do everything anything in his possession to be completely engulfed by greek mythology and when you do something more than you can more than you should you get into trouble and that's what exactly happened over obsessed over greek literature over obsessed over what their charismatic teacher told them how to pursue a particular subject or a particular uh, story that they learned about the history they ended up in trouble cuz they stepped out of their uh, boundaries so that is what this book is okay and now let me tell you why exactly four stars and not why not five stars if i loved it so much because this book is roughly um 650 pages okay but i think that this book could have been roughly 200 pages lesser if it would have been 200 pages lesser this was a five star written on its very very book cover i didn't feel a lot bored when i was reading but the thing is it stretched a little bit after the climax after our character died things started to stretch a little bit i know that she was trying to get under your skin because she was you know creating an ambiance of a uh, dark damp weirdness after that murder took place how the relationship dynamics changed after that person died cuz that was a friend you know that was a friend and things are meant to change so she dragged it a little bit i don't know but it could have been 200 pages lesser it would have not made a lot of difference if it would was 200 pages lesser it would have been equally or i think more better so that's that that's why it's four stars otherwise this book is solid i understand the hype about this book that was a rant that was a rant it, it was beautiful you know i have highlighted underlined a lot of pages i recommend this book i don't know if i do or not cuz everybody stays differ but this was definitely up my alley so yeah that was the black academia reading vlog i hope you liked it cuz i enjoyed filming it a lot so yeah see you in my next vlog